Phagus sylvatica, Wikipedia audio. Phagus sylvatica, the European beech or common beech, is a deciduous tree belonging to the beech family Phagaceae. Phagus sylvatica is a large tree, capable of reaching heights of up to 50 m tall and 3 m trunk diameter, though more typically 25-35 m tall and up to 1.5 m trunk diameter. A 10-year-old sapling will stand about 4 m tall. It has a typical lifespan of 150-200 years, though sometimes up to 300 years. In cultivated forest stands trees are normally harvested at 81-20 years of age. 30 years are needed to attain full maturity. Like most trees, its form depends on the location, in forest areas, F. sylvatica grows to over 30 m, with branches being high up on the trunk. In open locations, it will become much shorter and more massive. The leaves are alternate, simple, and entire or with a slightly crenate margin, 5-10 cm long and 3-7 cm broad, with 6-7 veins on each side of the leaf. When crenate, there is one point at each vein tip, never any points between the veins. The buds are long and slender, 15-30 mm long and 2-3 mm thick but thicker where the buds include flower buds. Description The leaves of beech are often not abscissed in the autumn and instead remain on the tree until the spring. This process is called marcescence. This particularly occurs when trees are saplings or when plants are clipped as a hedge, but it also often continues to occur on the lower branches when the tree is mature. Small quantities of seeds may be produced around 10 years of age, but not a heavy crop until the tree is at least 30 years old. F. sylvatica male flowers are born in the small catkins which are a hallmark of the Phagales order. The female flowers produce beech nuts, small triangular nuts 15-20 mm long and 7-10 mm wide at the base, there are two nuts in each cupule maturing in the autumn five-six months after pollination. Flower and seed production is particularly abundant in years following a hot, sunny, and dry summer, though rarely for two years in a row. Copper beech or purple beech, leaves purple, in many selections turning deep spinach green by midsummer. In the United States Charles Sprague Sargent noted the earliest appearance in a nurseryman's catalogue in 1820, but in 1859 the finest copper beech in America, more than 50 feet high was noted in the grounds of Thomas Ash, E.S.Q., Throg's Neck, New York, it must have been more than 40 years old at the time, Fern Leaf Beach, Leaves deeply serrated to thread-like, dwarf beech, distinctive twisted trunk and branches, weeping beech, branches pendulous, doic beech, fastigiate growth. Occurs in green, gold, and purple forms, named after doic botanic garden in the Scottish borders, golden beech, leaves golden in spring. The natural range extends from southern Sweden to northern Sicily, west to France, southern England, northern Portugal, central Spain, and east to northwest Turkey, where it intergrades with the Oriental beach, which replaces it further east. In the Balkans, it shows some hybridization with Oriental beach, these hybrid trees are named Phagus times Taurica. In the southern part of its range around the Mediterranean, it grows only in mountain forests, at 601,800 m altitude. Although often regarded as native in southern England, recent evidence suggests that F. sylvatica did not arrive in England until about 4000 BC, or 2000 years after the English Channel formed after the Ice Ages. It could have been an early introduction by Stone Age humans, who used the nuts for food. 
The beech is classified as a native in the south of England and as a non-native in the north where it is often removed from native woods. Localized pollen records have been recorded in the north of England from the Iron Age by Sir Harry Godwin. Changing climatic conditions may put beech populations in southern England under increased stress and while it may not be possible to maintain the current levels of beech in some sites it is thought that conditions for beech in northwest England will remain favorable or even improve. It is often planted in Britain. Similarly, the nature of Norwegian beech populations is subject to debate. If native they would represent the northern range of the species. However, molecular genetic analyses support the hypothesis that these populations represent intentional introduction from Denmark before and during the Viking Age. However, the beach in Vestfold and at same north of Bergen in Norway is now spreading naturally and regarded as native. Though not demanding of its soil type, the European beach has several significant requirements, a humid atmosphere and well-drained soil. It prefers moderately fertile ground, calcified or lightly acidic, therefore it is found more often on the side of a hill than at the bottom of a clayey basin. It tolerates rigorous winter cold, but is sensitive to spring frost. In Norway's oceanic climate planted trees grow well as far north as Trondheim. In Sweden, beech trees do not grow as far north as in Norway. A beech forest is very dark and few species of plant are able to survive there, where the sun barely reaches the ground. Young beeches prefer some shade and may grow poorly in full sunlight. In a clear-cut forest a European beech will germinate and then die of excessive dryness. Under oaks with sparse leaf cover it will quickly surpass them in height and, due to the beech's dense foliage, the oaks will die from lack of sunlight. The root system is shallow, even superficial, with large roots spreading out in all directions. European beech forms ectomycorrhizas with a range of fungi including members of the genera Amanita, Boletus, Cantharellus, Hebaloma, and Lactarius. These fungi are important in enhancing uptake of water and nutrients from the soil. In the woodlands of southern Britain, beech is dominant over oak and elm south of a line from about North Suffolk across to Cardigan. Oak are the dominant forest trees north of this line. One of the most beautiful European beech forests called Sonian Forest is found in the southeast of Brussels, Belgium. Beech is a dominant tree species in France and constitutes about 10% of French forests. The largest virgin forests made of beech trees are Aholkishirokai Ilo in Ukraine and Izvoral Nire in one forest body in Semenik Kyle Karolui National Park, Romania. These habitats are home of Europe's largest predators. Many trees are older than 350 years in Izvoral Nire and even 500 years in Aholkishirokai Ilo. Spring leaf budding by the European beech is triggered by a combination of day length and temperature. Bud break each year is from the middle of April to the beginning of May, often with remarkable precision. It is more precise in the north of its range than the south, and at 600 m than at sea level. Distribution and Habitat the European beech invests significantly in summer and autumn for the following spring. Conditions in summer, particularly good rainfall, determine the number of leaves included in the buds. In autumn, the tree builds the reserves that will sustain it into spring. Given good conditions, a bud can produce a shoot with up to 10 or more leaves. The terminal bud emits a hormonal substance in the spring that halts the development of additional buds. This tendency, though very strong at the beginning of their existence, becomes weaker in older trees. It is only after the budding that root growth of the year begins. 
the first roots to appear are very thin. Later, after a wave of above-ground growth, thicker roots grow in a steady fashion. European beech is a very popular ornamental tree in parks and large gardens in temperate regions of the world. In North America, they are preferred for this purpose over the native F. grandifolia, which despite its tolerance of warmer climates, is slower growing, taking an average of 10 years longer to attain maturity. The town of Brookline, Massachusetts has one of the largest, if not the largest, grove of European beech trees in the United States. The 2.5-acre public park, called the Longwood Mall, was planted sometime before 1850 qualifying it as the oldest stand of European beaches in the United States. It is frequently kept clipped to make attractive hedges. Since the early 19th century there have been numerous cultivars of European beech made by horticultural selection, often repeatedly, they include. The following cultivars have gained the Royal Horticultural Society's Award of Garden Merit. Pendula, Harlow Carr. The famous Upside Down Tree, Hyde Park, London an example of F. sylvatica pendula. Beach planted on a March dike in Scotland. Ecology Cultivation Leaves of var Heterophylla asplenia folia, Belfast Botanic Garden Image Gallery Timber Other Uses Pathogens Old stand of beech prepared for regeneration in the Sonian forest. Phagus sylvatica wood, MHNT. Phagus sylvatica, MHNT. Notes. Seedlings. Copper beech. Phagus sylvatica. The wood of the European beech is used in the manufacture of numerous objects and implements. Its fine and short grain makes it an easy wood to work with, easy to soak, dye, varnish and glue. Steaming makes the wood even easier to machine. It has an excellent finish and is resistant to compression and splitting and it is stiff when flexed. Milling is sometimes difficult due to cracking. The density of the wood is 720 kg per cubic meter. It is particularly well suited for minor carpentry, particularly furniture. From chairs to parquetry and staircases, the European beach can do almost anything other than heavy structural support, so long as it is not left outdoors. Its hardness make it ideal for making wooden mallets and workbench tops. The wood rots easily if it is not protected by a tar based on a distillate of its own bark. It is better for paper pulp than many other broad-leaved trees though is only sometimes used for this. The high cellulose content can also be spun into modal, which is used as a textile akin to cotton. The code for its use in Europe is phasey. Common beech is also considered one of the best firewoods for fireplaces. Primary product AM01, a smoke flavoring, is produced from Phagus sylvatica L. The nuts are an important food for birds, rodents, and in the past also humans. Slightly toxic to humans if eaten in large quantities due to the tannins and alkaloids they contain. The nuts were nonetheless pressed to obtain an oil in 19th century England that was used for cooking and in lamps. They were also ground to make flour, which could be eaten after the tannins were leached out by soaking. Biscognioxia numularia is an ascomy seed primary pathogen of beech trees, causing strip canker and wood rot. It can be found at all times of year and is not edible. 